I don't know where I was going with that. I think it's just a transition onward to another to this video right here. Um, weird ending from that other video, but a good and but a good explanation from what I got here. So yeah, awesomeness with the power of seven. Um, so yeah, apparently since she has a meta type, I can probably take it out with one with Kaylee very quickly. Um, this is probably going to be the only time that I'm going to be using Haley in this gem, just because. And yeah. That takes care of the battle girl. Yeah. Losing out of the material here. So, now I'm just gonna go ahead and switch it over to Goku in the front because I think that Goku will be able to evolve at level 20. Possibly. And, alright, here we go. We trained under Watson. But I can kick your butt. Yeah, that's it. You thought I was gonna say the A word, didn't you? Well, tough luck, buddy boy. Just because, since this is Pokemon, I have to learn to keep it down a notch. So yeah, I just did fake out there. It's only uh, useful when you do it the first time. It, when you, I think when you switch the Pokemon in. Doesn't really do so much what better if you um, keep it in there. That sounded so much better in my head. So yeah, just do uh, it once in order to get its maximum effect. It punches the Pokemon and has no recollection of how that happened or something. Wow, I'm totally lost in my words right now. Okay, so anyway, we're taking out a, uh, taking on a Voltor with iPod. I think she could probably take it out with a few, uh, quick attacks, because she is fast and awesome. And one Absorb should, or, wow, it actually did. What do you know? Yeah, okay, so that takes out the other Voltor. And he's probably gonna have a oh what a surprise a third full tour wow so yeah I'm just gonna take out the iPod and bring out the Kiki all right so a few quick attacks should and not not the attack quick attack I'm talking about a few swift uh, dang why do I say everything I that uh, involves fast attacks being uh, related to actual fast attacks. I'm talking about the Pokemon speed and its powerful attacks. But it takes out the Voltorb no problem and it's trying to learn Fury Swipes but I don't think it's that good so I'm just going to let it keep it with the moves that it already has. And as described by the guitarist, he is now unplugged and turned off. How sad. Oh well. We head back to the Pokemon Center in order to heal. I think I'm good regarding the recovery items wise, so no need to go to the po to the Pokemart. Anyway, healing song commits. Healing song right now. Yeah, that wasn't so good. Okay, now we are just going to head back onward to the gym, mainly because I feel that we need to. And we will head all the way over to the gym leader and stuff. Yeah. Totally did not know what I was saying there. I, I'm seriously a lost for words lately. Weird. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and save the game because I think because it's going to be a tough one, and also, I'm not doing this often, but I'm also going to go ahead and do a quick save state, because, for all I'm aware, I could actually lose this. So, yeah, I'm saving it right now, and now we head on over to the old guy. 
I've given up my plans to convert the city I have. And so I put my time into making door traps to Jim. Oh, now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my wicked doors? Ha <laughs> ha! Now that is amusing. Then I, Watson, the leader of the Balfour Jim, shall electrify you. Yeah. This was by far what I call the, the hardest gym leader of today's. <sighs> Mainly because they he up up to the other gym leaders they, they've actually been quite easy. But this is the first time you actually felt to deal with a Pokemon with uh, that sphere that you're quite unfamiliar with. Electro types. I mean there are a few I mean we haven't been running into a whole lot of electro types during the entire journey, but Oh well, it shouldn't be it, it should be fine. We took out the first uh, Magnemite with no problem by uh, Goku, and we should be able to take uh, this Voltorb out with a few uh, cut attacks from Kiki. And, and we get a Paralyzed Hacks, great. Okay, one, a few more, and... The, ah, crap, I forgot the Gym Leader's heal. Dang it. Alright, and of course Kiki gets the Paralyzed Hat, so I'm just gonna go in and use... Crap, I don't have any Paralyzed heals, but maybe I have... Yes, I have Cherry Berries. Okay, we can use this. And I use it on Goku, and I think I'm probably... Oh yeah, I'm gonna heal uh, Kiki real quick, and you with my Salty Pop. Sorry, Poppy. Or Bob. Total randomness. That is me. I am random. With the power. With the capital R. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, I'm just. I'm just healing my Pokemon at the moment. Don't even realize that Voltorb is gaining power from his rollouts. Would be a good. Actually, a good time to use a few cuts. But oh well. And, yeah, total coolness there. Alright, should be able to heal it with another uh, soda pop. And hopefully nothing happens. And, oh, wait. I just realized I could have I could have attacked him again. Dang it. Ugh, okay. And. Of course, Watson heals with the Super Potion. Great. <sighs> Here we go again with the ever continuous cycle. I mean, this is just as bad as when uh, when when Masay was uh, battling with that Staryu in the Cerulean City Gym. Uh, by the way, I'm referencing one of my other uh, my other LP, my big green LP, in which something totally similar to this actually happened, but yeah, all said and done, I will go ahead and switch over to Goku, because you should be able to take the Mega M M Magneton out with one hit, hopefully. And now we use the Final Throw, and Shockwave should be able to withstand, Goku should be able to withstand it, oh wow, did not see that Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna go, at, I already know where this is going, I'm probably gonna lose, so I'm just gonna zoom back to over to here. So yeah, I, I'll go ahead and explain it to you, it ended up getting me using a lot of the uh, Pokemon that I got, but yeah, he didn't really need to see that, so no problem there, and we will start the battle again with hardly much difficulty this time and and Goku's paralyzed again total day shot food but whatever we take we still take the megaton out with one vital throw and just to add a little variety I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to iPod this time because I think uh, she'll be able to take out the bolt uh, one Oh, excuse me, Voltorb no problem, and yeah, 
Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Oh crap! Self-destruct! That was totally different. Okay. Now, I believe I will switch it over to Kiki, mainly because um, I think uh, Kiki is able to withstand the shockwave a lot better than uh, Goku did. Plus, uh, by using the Rock Smashers, I should be able to roll lower the Magneton's defense enough so that I can, uh, you know, take it out. And... Alright, one more Rock Smash should do it. And... Yeah. Oh yeah! Perfect defense roll down thing. Yeah. So, yeah. And... That's happens, so I'm just gonna switch it over to Haley, mainly as a death fodder. For death, basically what that is, is that I switch a Pokemon in so that I can uh, heal another Pokemon that is stronger. And we're all said and done with that. So, anyway, shouldn't be saying this during the, uh, the battle, but if you like my videos, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And that, and after this battle, it should be the end of the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish uh, the Magneton off. Sweet, it did a Sonic Boom, which didn't uh, take out Goku. And Vile Throw should be able to take out the Mag Magneton. Alright! And Goku gains EXP and grows to level 20. Alright! And defeated Watson! Wow! Fine, I lost! You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. And watch as Goku ev- Ah, crap. It didn't evolve. Oh, well. We received the Dynamo Badge from Watson. Alright. With the badge, I I can use Rock Smash out of battle, and my Pokemon speed will increase. And also, we get the awesome TM34, which contains Shockwave, the move that never misses. So, he also says that himself. And he is an optimistic trainer and all that. So I will continue onward outside. And... Whoa, you're electrified. You're powered the door open. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you the badges. One, two, three badges. And... We shall save, and that'll be the end for Pokemon Sapphire for right now. Until then, this has been Dreamer Man 509. See ya, baby. Bye.